hello everyone welcome back to another video on pops production stack in today's video i have with me the oneplus 2 and today i'm going to show you guys how to install android 10 on this device lineage os 17 and also to install twop so this video will be split into two parts one on how to install twop and one on how to install android 10. now uh, some of you may ask why the oneplus 2 this phone is quite old well actually i i really enjoy working with older devices especially um, when they were very popular back in the day you know how popular the oneplus 2 was back then and i really like working with the older devices honestly um so without any further ado let's get started So first things first, you will need your files and I will mention again in the other video as you can see here I have the file for Android 10, Lineage OS 17, I have Magisk as well for root and I have most importantly the Twop image. Now as you can see I am running a Linux machine, I am currently running Ubuntu 18 and of course before you um, enter uh, fast boot mode which is, which is what we will be using to flash our recovery partition we will have to install adb and fastboot on ubuntu now for windows i will have the links for you and for those of you using linux i will have the comments in the description so it is very simple let's start by opening up our terminal so you open up your terminal right now with sudo writes and you are going to now type in the command apt install fastboot now I have fastboot installed so you, I would see this message right here where you would get some prompt asking you whether you'd like to continue with the installation. All you have to do is put in Y or N which is basically Y for yes and N for no. So it's simple, follow the prompts and you shouldn't have any issues. So now on our device we are going to head over to settings so that we enable the other options. So let me go on here and go over to settings and head down to about device as you can see i have it enabled already but i'm going to show you guys how to do so so in about device you are going to type on build number several times and you should see the developer options right up here so now we are going to select oem unlocking to unlock the bootloader so now that you can see i have put in my p i'm going to select ok and i'm going to select enable also enable USB debugging and that's it. Now we are going to connect our device to our PC so that we can begin with the installation of Twoop. I have connected my device and as you can see it came up right here on my PC. In order to check that it's connected I'm going to type in ADB and I'm going to type ADB devices. Right now the phone would prompt me and I'm going to select always allow for my PC because I trust this PC and as you can see on my PC it says unauthorized. All you have to do is type ADB devices again and you would see that the device is now authorized. So now what we're going to do is type ADB reboot, boot loader and after entering fastboot we will now be using the fastboot command and not ADB. So we're going to press enter and the phone would reboot into fastboot. So as you can see right now, it's in fastboot mode and we are now going to type in a list of commands again. So we are now going to start by typing fastboot OEM unlock to unlock the bootloader again. Yes, we did unlock it, but just to ensure that it has been unlocked, we are going to type it in again. Now, uh, keep in mind that data will be lost, your internal storage partition will be wiped. So let's type this in. And now we type enter. Phone will reboot again. So as you can see, it all went through. All right, so as you can see on this screen here, um, unlock will erase user data so you're going to tap yes to continue 
and now we are going to flash tube so let me put the phone right here hopefully it doesn't fall and i am going to type in fast boot flash recovery and i'm going to attach the tube recovery image and i'm going to press enter I'm going to press enter. So after Tube has been successfully flashed onto the device, we are going to press power and volume down buttons together simultaneously. And the device will boot into Tube. All right, so as you can see, we are in Tube. So from here, you could go ahead and root your device with Magisk or SuperSU. Well, I personally recommend Magisk, however, it's your preference. And you can also go ahead and flash your custom ROMs and custom canals. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like, hit thumbs up, share the video with others. And if you like my content, don't hesitate to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.